Well, good morning. It is Sunday, October the 17th, 2021. And I hope you had a great week this past week and are off to a good start this morning. Well, this past Tuesday, I was playing handball and I served the ball and I turned around to watch the ball like you're supposed to. And my opponent hit the ball and it hit me right here um, on my nose and in the corner of my eyeball right there. And uh, saw a few stars, uh, shed a few tears. I mean, it just it caused my eyes to water. Um, my nose didn't bleed, uh, but it is still uh, a little sore uh, this morning. But I had my goggles on, uh, which you are supposed to wear. And so when the ball hit here, it uh, began, nose is still a little bit sore, but it didn't hit my eye. No, no damage whatsoever to my eyeballs. And that's why you wear goggles. And one of the things that I thought of as I was standing there, uh, you know, getting the tears out of my eyes and rubbing my nose and everything was what we talked about a couple of weeks ago uh, when Paul writes to the saints in Ephesus and he describes the armor of God. And near the end of that discussion or that writing, he talks about in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And again, I thought protection. Those goggles protect my eyes from being hit with the handball. And the shield of faith protects us and enables us to extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And all of us know that 2020 was a trying year. Um, this year has been a trying year for many people. I just found out uh, last week as well that one of my best friends from Wilmington, North Carolina passed away uh, a week ago yesterday from complications of COVID. Um, she had gotten sick, tested positive, went into the hospital. They sent her back home the next day, to, told her to treat it with over-the-counter uh, medications. Um, but a few days later, she got sick, went back to the hospital, and they admitted her, and she passed away uh, the next day. And it's, it's tough to lose loved ones. Um, and a lot of us have lost people that we love and know well. Um, not only to COVID, but to other factors. And the devil has used this pandemic and has used other situations in life to try to get us to think and get us to believe that God is not really in control and that he's, while he cares for us, um, he really doesn't care all that much for us or he's off taking care of somebody else and he's kind of neglecting us and that's why life is going so bad and blah, 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 blah. And that's true. Um, we are waging a spiritual warfare against the powers of evil in the heavenly places. And Paul gives us this armor, if you will, including the shield of faith which reminded me of another passage of scripture that he wrote to the saints in Rome, in which he writes, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now that's faith. For I am sure. That's faith. And if we will, in all circumstances, pick up the shield of faith, then we can extinguish all the flaming darts that the evil one sends our way. That no matter 
what happens? Tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, sword, whatever happens. Our faith that God is in control, that he loved us enough to send his son to die for us, and that Jesus left heaven, came to this earth, gave up his life to be the sacrifice for our sins, and was buried, and his father raised him from the dead and has given us his spirit to guide us and comfort us along life's way. Nothing is gonna separate us from that. So let me encourage you when, when life gets tough and it will get tough, and when life gets hard and it will become hard at times, take up that shield of faith and extinguish the flaming darts that the devil is gonna throw at you to try to get you to believe that God is really not in control and that God really doesn't know what he's doing. And you're gonna to have to rely upon yourself to get by. That's all false. God is in control and God loves us. And in the end, no matter what the devil can throw at us, the shield of faith will extinguish that. Well, I pray that you'll have a great week.